there everyone and welcome to an unboxing video. I know you guys really enjoy those. So what I have in here is a box. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nope. Nope, that's not the right one. It's this one, okay? Nope. You know what? It's it's gotta be this. No, that's, that's not it either. Hold on. Got it. Got it. Got it. There we go. Look at that. This box. So what I have here is a box from B&H Photo Video. And basically, I just purchased some lenses for some photography because I've been getting into photography recently. It's one of my New Year's resolutions to take more pictures and also video. I haven't been doing the videos too much, but I want to get back into it since it's now summer. So without further ado, let's get into this. Just a box, guys. Okay. Cool, cool. What is this? What is it? I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone can tell, but it's just lenses. Nothing fancy. Cool. Okay. Honestly, I just got boxes. Like, I didn't really feel like getting anything else but boxes. So basically, what I got were two lenses. They came in a package together. So I got the Canon 50mm f1.8 and the Canon 10 to 18mm f4.5 to 5.6. And basically, if you are into cameras um, or not, this one is good for taking portraits because it blurs out the background just a tad and it really focuses or it keeps a close profile to someone's face. And this is a wide angle lens, so the smaller the numbers, like 10 to 18 millimeters, that means it's gonna be really wide. So I'm gonna get a much bigger picture. So like right now, this framing here is 18 millimeters. So it's, with the 10 to 18 lens, it's gonna be much wider than what you'd see now. So we'll open this one first. I was able to test out both these lenses while at school. Uh, my film miner allowed me to try out both these lenses through their uh, rental service. It's not really a rental service, it's more of a, like, yeah, I guess it's a rental service. So here's this lens. So yeah, this is the 10 to 18 lens. So basically, this is really nice because it's, it's wide, so and it's got a large, wider diameter than my other lenses. My other lenses are like 58 millimeters wide. This is a 67. So it allows you to get pretty far out pictures and then also kind of bring it in just a tad. So this is good for those who like to vlog or like to do, it says it's a, what they say this is, is a travel lens. So it has autofocus capabilities and manual focus and also stabilization. And you want the stabilization because that's important. And then you have warranties. So that's that lens. And this is the 50 millimeter. So I've been taking up some pictures for some friends for like their senior photos, whether they're in college or high school. And so I figured having a 50 millimeter in your arsenal of lenses is essential if you want to take pictures for like portraits and stuff. So, and this is one of the cheapest lenses you can find on the market. It's the most bang for your buck, that's for sure. So this is f 1.8 is what they call a prime lens, so you get one fixed focal length. Instead of having something that zooms in and out, you have just one fixed focal length and you just have the focus ring. This is um, autofocus and manual focus. There is no stabilization, so this is it's not really for video, it's for photography mostly. So like if you take any videos with this, the chances of having a little bit more shaky footage is higher. 
but yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do now is just kind of pop them in to my camera and show you what they look like. So we'll start off with this puppy. This is the 10 millimeter vert, like focal length, and so you see it's much wider than the other image, and you'll see it in a sec. So you can see a lot more in the picture. So like, there's my tripod for my other camera. This is my microphone and my microphone stand, and this is like where I was sitting. Um, the angle has changed a bit because of my darn tripod, but this is like the 18 millimeter, what it looks like. And this is how much room I had to work with for the others. So now we're gonna pop in the 50 millimeter. So this is the uh, 50 millimeter lens and focus. And so it's much closer now because it's a fixed like, focal length. And if you notice, it's much brighter in this picture. That's because the aperture can go up to f1.8. That's the only setting I changed for this. And I know it's a crappy lighting, but I wanted to show you like just how bright, how much more light can get in because it has a wide open aperture. And there you have it. These are the two lenses that I got. The Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter and the Canon EF 50 millimeter. Both pretty good lenses. I'm excited to use them and see how they can benefit me. I've been working with two lenses for the past three, maybe four, nah, I don't know about four, but three years or so. For the past two, three years. And um, it's kind of been necessary for me to get a change of like more lenses. And I've been wanting to get these for a while, so might as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button or commenting down below what you think of these lenses. And if you guys, like I said, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button or subscribe to my channel, Jemmy. I would love to see your guys' support. And yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys. Again, thanks for watching this. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.